Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today we will discuss the trigger scenario and perform the scenario in our screen share. So the trigger scenario is like this. Whenever my case is created, so in the case we have one email field that is the web email. So if this, uh, if there is a value in the web email and the value of this email domain matches with any existing contact domain. Okay, here I am talking about the domain that is the value after the at the rate. So if any value of the domain matches with any existing contact then the case will be related to the same contact. And if the contact match uh, having or related with any account then the case should matches or linked with the same account. So on the case we have a uh, standard account relation, we have contact relation. So we need to link both the account and contact if the case domain matches with any existing contact domain. So we will perform this scenario in our screen share today. So let's move to our screen. So here the first thing which comes in our mind is the object on which we will going to create this trigger and the event on which we need to fire this. So the object will be the case and the event will be the before insert as we need to perform the modification on the same object so we will go with the before event and on creation so whenever the case is created we need to fire this trigger so this is my class and this is my function where i have passed the new list value that is the trigger dot new it will return or it will give me the new list that is the case which are inserted the list of the case which are inserted or which are inserting so this is my handler this is my function this is the list of case so here is the first loop which is on the new list so in this first we will check the email value the email field value so whether the, there is an email or not now the next is we need to extract the domain value so what we will do I have used here the string function that is the string after and retrieve the value after at the rate so suppose like my email is uh, something like test at the rate gmail.com so using this function it will give me the value gmail.com so this is the domain which I want to check with the contact domains so now the next uh, what I have do I have created a case on the key I have added or on the key I am saving this email value domain value and on the value I am saving the particular object case record the complete case record. So here as soon as uh, it will extract the email or uh, just domain value it will put domain value in the map as a key and then the complete case record. Okay now now next is First we will put the null check for this map. If this map contain value then we will go to our next for loop. So the next for loop will be on contact. Now our next step to find the particular email domain emails are present in the contact or not. So here, here as you can see I have used this domain custom domain. I have already created a custom field on the dom uh, on contact where this is a formula type field where it is saving the domain of the email from contacts so let me show you the formula which i have created so here domain okay so this is the formula which is giving me the value after at the rate that is saving the that is domain of the from the email contact email so let me zoom out this so the formula will be more clear so here is the formula in which substitute and the left functions are used to get the value so again it's uh, if I have a email something like test at the rate gmail.com it will going to save the value gmail.com. So with this field I am going to match value with the map key set the values the domain which I have saved for the case in this map. So this query will going to return all the records which are mapped with the which are mapped with this case domain values. So here 
our next step is if we get such a record or if we find any matching result so the next step will be for the confirmation we will check whether the map contain this domain or not if yes then we will move to the next line okay let me pause you here and get back to the map where we have created this so in this map on when we put the values on the key we are putting the gmail.com that is the domain and on the value we are putting the complete case record here so why i have put it the complete case record because in the contact loop whenever i loop uh, over the contact and if any value matches with the case domain then i can directly get contact and account field to put values from the sql query which i made on the contact so now let's come back here so to access this contact id that is this contact field i need to put the uh, key value which is the objcon.domain so now nothing much we have to do we simply need to put the contact id the current record contact id in this field and then next we will check whether this contact has account id or not if yes then again we will access contact account field and put the obj con that is the current record account id here now this map values will automatically get updated with the new values of contact and the account id which we have put in now we are no need to put any dml to update these map values as our trigger is on before insert and on before event we did not perform any dml until and unless we are updating or inserting any another object instead of the same object we win on which we have created this trigger so our tri so our trigger is completed and ready to test so now let's move to our salesforce and test this so this is my contact uh, having the email field value and this is my domain custom formula field which is saving the domain value from the email field and this is also related to the account so our next step is to create a case with the same domain so first we will check the positive case with the same domain so now let's create a case So here uh, prefix will be anything and the domain will be the same. So my trigger will fire and as you can see the case is related to both account and the contact for the same domain. So now next question come in our mind what if it found multiple contact with the same domain. So yes as for our logic it will save the last value in the map it will again and again update the map and hold the last value for the contact it found the same with the same domain so this is a question just for the practice to get more clear with the triggers so the next scenario we are testing here if we did not uh, if my case is without any email so yes it will not fire it will not give you any or it will not throws any exception because we have already put all the null checks and all and it will simply save the record with hope you guys enjoy the video if you have any doubts or do you want to discuss anything do let me know in the comment section or you can connect with me on linkedin thank you see you soon in the next video